Hey, I'm Lana. And I'm Casey, and we are Class C Broads. In today's video, we are going to give you a tour of our 2022 Integra Accolade XL37L. We call her Big Lady. Get it? Integra Accolade XL. She's big. She's a lady. The model is 37L, which is the bunk model, and we're transitioning from a Jayco Greyhawk 31F, which is also a bunk model. And this is the XL, which is sort of the upgraded model for the Integra Accolade. And it's also worth noting that the Integra Accolade is basically the same RV as a Jayco Seneca, just different color schemes basically on the exterior and interior. So if you're interested in an Integra Accolade or a Jayco Seneca or Jayco Seneca Prestige, which is their upgraded model, this is a video that you may want to watch. In addition, we're going to share with you some of the mods we've already made to the rig and also show you some things that we've purchased that make the rig a little bit more functional. So stick around. Let's get started. Let's get big. Cause we're classy bars. We're girls who are me. We're dames who don't just live at the dream. Let's go look up the tote and hit the road. So I apologize in advance for the dirtiness of our RV on the outside. Um, you know, we live in this full time and we kill a lot of bugs on the road. So take it as it is. Let's open the engine and take a look in there. Um, we don't really know that much about engines. We're not gearheads or anything. We upgraded from a traditional class C to the super C in order to get more power and more cargo carrying capacity. Our previous RV was a Jayco Greyhawk, and this Integra Accolade has three times as much cargo carrying capacity. We also went from gas to diesel. Both Lady, our new RV, and our old RV, the Jayco Greyhawk 31F, are bunk models. We have a video that we'll put a link below that compares and contrasts the differences between the two models. So be sure to check that out. Even though this is much bigger than I am, it's very easy to get into the engine compartment. Here she is. <laughs> it's a big old diesel. This RV is built on the Freightliner Custom S2 RV chassis, and we are gonna go down the driver's side and show you all of the storage bays. So the first bay houses the batteries. There are two chassis batteries and four house batteries, and they are on a Mo Moride slide-out tray. Then you've got three storage bays before the back wheels and they all have pass-through storage. Um, pass-through storage is about a foot high. So it does really come in handy for those uh, long items, chairs and uh, clam tents and things like that. The tank storage capacities for this RV are 72 gallons of fresh water um 50 gallon black tank and then there are two gray tanks one is 31 and one is 50 gallons the smaller gray tank actually is connected up front for the kitchen sink and the washer and dryer and it's kind of a pain because the valve is way up here and it is not connected to the other gray tank there are mods out there that you can do to connect them, and we'll probably be doing that in the future. After the warranty's expired. Yes. In the fourth bay, there is also a power cord reel, which is very handy with that heavy 50 amp power cord. 
there are three bays behind the rear wheels. Um, you have a nice wet bay here with a macerator. The next bay houses your generator. They were out of owning 8,000, so we got a 10,000. So if you get one of these uh, accolades, you may get an 8,000, you may get a 10,000, you may get something completely different. It just depends on the supply chain. And with the Accolade XL, instead of just the regular Accolade, you also get Aqua Hot. And that Aqua Hot is used to heat your water, to heat your coach, it heats the tile floors. It's a very nice feature, it runs off electric and diesel. This rig can actually tow 12,000 pounds. We've got a Gen Y dual hitch receiver adapter here so that we can put our bikes on between the Jeep that we tow and the RV. Um, so, so far so good in terms of towing. Then there are two storage bays, the back two here on the passenger side, that have a plastic bottom. Um, so we put, you know, our stuff that might get wet in those particular bays. And then there's ample storage for whatever you might need throughout the rest of the rig. All of the storage bays, other than those back two, are carpeted. Yep. They say it's for sound deadening. Eh, it's not our favorite, but we can live with it. So there's plenty of uh, room for a full-size toolbox. So Casey absolutely loves this part of the RV because she keep real organized. Oh, you! I think you love it because I, I, I can keep organized. Yeah. And then I mean, we've even got, you know storage bins that we're not yet using that we need to put back in actual storage so you know we've got plenty of room here we also have an outdoor entertainment center that consists of a tv and a stereo it's really hard to get back yeah i'm not gonna let it go because i'm too short to uh, pull it back down and our rv came with five dogs um, I think that we may have paid a little extra for that. I don't know if it was like a special deal that we got, but we ended up with five dogs. So, come on in. So I think the first thing that you're gonna notice about this Super C is just how big the living room feels. In our previous uh, regular CRV, we only had one slide. Here we have opposing slides and the living room area just feels huge to me. Uh, speaking of huge, we have this ginormous <laughs> TV right here. Um, it's a little awkward design because, you know, if you're sitting on the sofa, here it's kind of an odd angle. It does tilt out a little bit, but the viewing angle isn't that great. Um, another thing that you'll notice about this particular model is that because it is an XL, again, the XL is sort of the upgraded Integra Accolade line similar to the Jayco Seneca Prestige. There's additional storage space above the dinette area and it's deep enough that you can fit regular size shoe boxes in here and probably put something in front of it. But I really, really love the extra storage space. Over here, we also have a fireplace. It puts out 5,000 BTUs. We haven't yet used it because it's still summer out, but we're very much looking forward to that. Another thing that we haven't used because it's 
than summer out is this coach comes with heated porcelain tile floors. That is because there is heat provided by the aqua hot system, which runs on either electric or diesel. I should mention this is an all electric coach in the sense that there's no propane on board, which I like because I feel a lot safer when there's no pro propane on board. Um, over here, there's great countertop space um, and, you know, decent drawer space. We've got an induction cooktop right here that we hide underneath a cutting board. The cutting board did not come with the rig. I'll put a link to the cutting board below if you're interested in getting that. Um, there is a convection microwave up here. And then again, just, you know, storage space, decent storage space down here. Um, there's enough room for trash bins in there as well. There's an additional little cubby right there. I should mention right as you come in the door, there's this nice little storage closet that you can, you know, put all sorts of junk in. Another thing that is great about this Super C is that it comes with a full-size residential fridge. Although you can see we've got our fridge covered in beer stickers, so we clearly need an even bigger fridge. Um, it's really nice too because this whole bottom space can be either freezer or refrigerator. We have it set to freezer, um, but you can control all that with this little display here. Um, but very nice design. And I like the way these latches work during travel days. The pantry is pretty lacking in this particular model as well. This is our entire pantry space. So we're using some of the cupboards above the sink for uh, pantry storage. So we're obviously dog people, and that means that we have to pretty much cover everything. So we've got a nice sofa cover here. We've got some covers that fit nicely around the dinette cushions, and we've even got some covers for the seeds in the cab area. And we'll put the link to those items in the description below. But if you're interested in all of the stuff that we use in the RV, please go to our website because we basically have a page devoted to all of our different RV accessories. A couple things that I did want to mention here is this really nice storage ottoman. It's a little dog-eared, thanks to Earl, but it does collapse and it's just a great functional thing to, to have in the RV. Another thing that we found useful because that viewing angle for the TV is so awkward is this little collapsible chair that this and this reclines a little bit more but you can basically watch tv on the floor and that provides a much better viewing angle than the sofa so we're in the cab area if you couldn't figure that out um the accolade comes with a i believe it's only in the xl that you get the 10 inch screen this is a nice sony system it does have apple um play and android auto and um all of the accolades and Senecas should come with these nice covers for the front windows. If yours didn't, it should have, so you need to ask somebody about it because they are very nice. The cup holders are lacking in this chassis. Um, someone in one of the Accolade or Jayco groups came up with this 3D print to help with the cup holders so i printed that but i also um we use this cooler up here for extra space for us and it's also handy for storing things and i've done some 3d prints uh, for that as well and i actually created a little 3d print up here to give us more storage room because really there's nothing up here in the console area for storage you have three cubbies up above for storage but sometimes those aren't too handy especially if you're trying to charge something uh chairs are very comfortable i know that people have said online some people aren't very happy with them but they are such an upgrade from uh the class c that we had before 
Lana really wants me to pull the air horn here. Um, so I'm going to do it, but uh, don't tell my neighbors who it was. So you get a baby horn here, and it's only the circle. So don't try to get mad at somebody and hit over here because it's not going to do any good. You get your baby horn, you get your air horn, you're trucking. In the cab over area, we're obviously just using it as storage right now. It's sort of a work in progress. Don't judge. We're still trying to figure out what we really need and what we want inside the RV versus in the basement storage area. But suffice it to say, there is plenty of storage in here. I don't feel like we're lacking for anything that we had in our sticks and bricks. The dogs don't need bunk space. They don't need their own rooms. So we've converted this space into storage for us. And what storage means is probably a little different than what you're thinking. Um, the, the bedroom doesn't have a closet, a hanging space, and we'll get to that in a little bit. So in here we created a hanging area and we don't have much to hang, but we put a closet rod in here and had our our uh, hanging stuff put in here. It was a little bit too short and I realized that when you take the mattress out, if you open this up, you can get about six more inches. So this area, we've taken out the um, frame for the mattress so that we could hang our clothes and we even have a little bit of hidden storage under here. We left the rest of it so that we can stack things on it, like my 3D printer, which works great in the RV. And if you don't have one, you should get one. Welcome to the pooper. <laughs> it, we have just enough room for everything. You've got your commode. There's a 30 by 36 shower with a nice um, skylight in it. Kind of got a tiny sink, but you get all this room over here for your stuff. And it come, it has a quite a good amount of storage in here. For some reason, we thought we needed more storage. So we added this towel rack. And it, it it's great for towels that we don't use, <laughs> that we probably don't even need. So if you're a big family, this might be good for you. Yeah, and it's tension from the floor to the ceiling, but we also put some connectors in the back so it won't fall over when we're traveling. Haven't heard any rattles or anything, it hasn't moved around, so pretty good to go. We'll put a link to that. Um, there's a nice fan in here, but for short people, it was really hard to open the vent. So I 3D printed this little handle here and thanks to Brian Miller for the initial design, I actually extended it a little bit. Much easier to open the fan. Along the lines of 3D printing, I designed some little cubbies to keep everything in place in our medicine cabinet. Um, if you're interested, put a comment below and maybe I will send you the files. These tri doors, if anybody has any tips on how to get those clean and keep them clean, put a comment below. So the firefly system is kind of the brain of the coach. This is where you turn everything on and off. It has an app that you can put on your phone so you can turn things off and on from your phone as well. Um, there are several screens. This is where you would retract or extend your slides where you would set the temperature for your air conditioning and heating where you turn on your aqua hot um, there's a whole screen just for lights and there's a master on off which is quite nice this is where you would set up your auto gen start as well basically anything and everything you need to see about the coach for day-to-day -day living is in this box so anything you can do here, you can do here. There is an app that controls the Firefly, so you can let your slides out, you can 
turn on and off your lights. You can extend and retract your awning. Like I said, everything you can do here, you can do here. This model comes with a tilt -a bed and on travel days, we have to put it up. It also functions as a dog launch. <laughs> All right, everybody down. Come on. Let's go. Welcome to the bedroom. Also, my office. So on work days, we just lift the bed and there's a nice little seat right here. Percy is my assistant. And I got this folding desk on Amazon and it works perfectly. I have all the room that I need. Um, I can shut the door and kind of be in my own little world. What we were talking about earlier, not having a closet space is because in the XL, you don't get a combo washer dryer unit. Um, in the regular Accolade or Seneca, the bottom of this is drawers. But in the XL or the Prestige version, it is a stackable washer and dryer. So there isn't any hanging storage. The storage over here didn't come with a hanging pole. We have put in drawers and that works very well for us um we only wear a t-shirt so how much storage for clothes do you really need there's storage behind the tv and there's also a little cubby next to the tv which is where we store our laundry stuff uh, above the bed there are three cubbies and we've put a little shelf of, uh, right below that kind of for our charging station at night. On the sides, there are two little side tables that actually have a little storage in there on both sides. Uh, one of the things that could have been planned better is the electrical outlets in the bedroom. They are down here. So not the handiest and there are no USB ports in the bedroom. So I thought now would be a great time to recap some of the main differences between the Integra Accolade XL backslash Jayco Seneca Prestige and the base model. And the first thing is that really nice nine inch Sony infotainment center that Casey showed you in the cab area. The next thing we actually forgot to tell you, and that's that it has a tilting and telescoping steering wheel. And for short people like us, it is great to be able to put the steering wheel exactly where we want it. The next thing is that overhead storage in the dinette area. You can never get enough storage, super great. Another thing that the XL Prestige has is the Aqua Hot system. And there are a couple of things that flow from that. Again, this is technically an all electric coach in the sense that there's no propane on board, but of course we have a diesel engine. Um, but in addition, that Aqua Hot system not only heats our floors, but it should also heat our basement storage area in the winter. And that will be great to hopefully not have to worry about any sort of you know pipes bursting if we do happen to get in cold weather another thing that the XL prestige has is that separate washer dryer instead of the combo unit another pseudo upgrade to the XL prestige is that there are tile floors throughout now the jury for me is still out on this one um, just the idea of porcelain tile floors going down the highway it seems like they should break at some point they did give us extra tiles um, and so far so good um, but for some reason i would kind of just like to have a vinyl the last thing that our upgraded model has is this really nice Gerard Nova 2 awning and unfortunately I, we can't show you that because we're currently camped where there is a bunch of trees 
and we are way too lazy to move the rig to show it to you. So I'll show you some pictures that our inspector took of the awning. And that leads to another point is that even though this was a brand new rig, we did get it professionally inspected. It cost us, I think around 750, 800 bucks or so, but it was well worth it he did find some things that we wouldn't have in our walkthrough and we just have much better peace of mind about the coach we're getting and in addition the dealer was able to have all of those issues except for a couple addressed by the time we got to the dealership to pick it up so all in all the inspection was a very good decision for us so I'm sure you're wondering, how much did this big lady cost? That's a million dollar question. Well, we didn't pay a million dollars. MSRP was $367,000. Of course, that's not what we paid, but we're not gonna tell you what we paid. If you're really good at negotiating, you should be able to get over 30% off of MSRP. And let's just say we're good at negotiating. If you like this video, if you like our dogs, if you like the RV, if it was just meh, Go ahead and hit that like button, it's okay. And consider subscribing to our channel. And remember, whether you're on the road or on the web, stay classy. Cheers. Cheers. We're gonna start with the outside and then hit the inside. We're not gonna hit it. Okay. How many times have you guys lost your remote? Well, we read somewhere where using command strips to secure your remotes is a great idea. And so far we've been on several trips. The remotes stay right in their place. And it's also just a great way to keep track of all the remotes that you have in the RV. Both Big Lady and our previous RV, the Graco, Graco. Uh -huh. This is the view from the top of This is the view from the roof of our Accolade XL. 